All right, good morning class. We're doing this for like the fifth time. I'm um, being forced to kind of just go ahead and do this live because Accents unfortunately has announced at least semi-privately through emails that they are trying to uh, get rid of the record version of MVM. Uh, that is going to be just you opening the program without having their 3000 something dollar license, which is, I guess, now the new minimum that we're also getting from them that it's starting at $3,750. Uh, so they've actually increased it again before they even announced the previous increases, like formally, that they were sending us through email. But they're saying that they're no longer going to have any free opportunity to use your hardware that you've already bought and paid for under the assumption that you would be able to at least do this. Um, and if you try to open it, it will say unable to start the Xsense and VM. Uh, now this person is in China right now. Um, th the American team has said this, this is coming from Movella or not the American, but wherever they're located um, somewhere in Europe. So this is coming down the pipeline. The only way to probably counteract this is just to make as much noise as possible if you are a user. Now, that aside, for right now, we're going to operate on the assumption that they're not completely idiotic and that they have some semblance of morality. And so we're going to show you V2 of the Xen Streamer plugin, which does allow you to use the plastic that you own, uh, the four to $12,000 plastic that you own and bought and paid the money for. Uh, so this is the new GUI. You can see that you have all kinds of opportunities to go ahead and click the GitHub. If you got this without paying me, you can go ahead and tip me uh, using the Kofafi uh, link. And if you want to bug me on stream, you can go ahead and click the Twitch link, Troopy Toad. I just wanted to add some fun little images. And uh, yeah, we also have the rescan the skeleton, reset the skeleton. You can now turn the fingers on and off. We fix the fingerless issue. Um, you can stream with the stream button. You have to actually click that and you can send T-Post quickly. We're going to go over how to actually use Unity 3D as the main way that you actually export this. If you don't want to just use it as a live streamer is through that. Now, you're going to want to go ahead and get the Unity Hub. You're going to want to go to the install editor here and you're going to want to use the long-term support LTS. Uh, for 2021. Now, all the other versions do work, but 2021 is just the one that I officially recommend that people use. Once you do that, you're going to download, start your uh, new project, and you'll get something like this, except you won't be in this scene. You are just going to take what you get uh, from the V2 model uh, download on itch.io, links in the description, is you're going to get a RAR that contains these two folders. You're going to just take this entire Xsense folder and you're just going to dump it right here in the Unity playlist. And you're going to take this biped streamer. You're going to put this into the plugins folder, just, just like this. And then you're going to add the line. Again, all of this is explained on the inch.io for you to just copy and paste. You're going to go ahead and add it right here. And this just tells MVM that you will launch this GUI version of the application. Now to record, you're going to want to go to Window, Package Manager, and you want to be in the Unity Registry. And you're going to go Record, and you're going to install the record. Mine says Remove, yours will say Install. But this will just let you record .nm files, which is just a local version of an animation file for unity you want to actually go ahead and also do fbx exporter i'm going to install that too and this will let you export the fbx's after that you're going to want to actually open up the window so we'll go to general recorder recorder window and it should look like this minus the fbx here you're going to add the recorder I'm going to choose the FBX option. Now, for the game object, you're going to go ahead and choose Avatar. You're going to set this to everything. And you can do the export geometry. And everything also comes with the skin mesh render and everything like that. But you don't necessarily have to. If all you're after is just the, uh, just the animation. It won't really matter if you have the skin mesh. But just for these purposes, we're going to leave that on. 
you're going to want to record by hitting the start record, which will launch the play mode. We're going to do... this one. So we're going to also go back to our plugin here. We're going to hit the start stream button. We're going to do the start record. Going to send the T pose. And now we're going to start it. The little bit of drift and off tracking in this one is actually because the source file that we got is filled with the, uh, the drift itself. But there's not even much. Exxon's is great at actually doing what it's supposed to do. If only they could treat us, the consumers, like people. As you can see, this is pretty good. And now that we're done, we'll hit the stop recording and it will export. Now this is going to be an ASCII export and you'll see it's in the recordings here. Which is not natively supported by Blender, but is supported by all the Autodesk software. You can see the uh, T-Pose went in. The gun and stuff is just automatically there from the skin mesh. And that's the little preview of it. If you show in the file explorer and we open up in the Maya viewer, you can see it here too. I don't own a copy of Maya, so I can't actually open it up in Maya, but we have more than enough people who actually natively use Maya with their own little versions. We also see that other people have made their own pipelines using our uh, plugin in order to take it to Blender and how you go about that. Native exporting of the FBX uh, may be coming, but we're going to be waiting, seeing how this whole Unity record thing shakes up. Otherwise, guys, I hope you enjoy. Remember, links down in the description. Uh, buying it uh, supports us and supports us doing more development and work on it and adding more and more features and fixing all bugs and all that fun stuff. So. Uh, I will see you guys in the next one.